Hey, what's up? Night Jester here, and I'm a little enraged today. Hmm, what could possibly make me enraged? Well, let's let's just take a look at the names in the lobby here. Oh crap, I forgot. Yeah, this lobby's not too bad. Um, but one of the names, you are Nero. Yeah. Um, pretty sure he's not American. Uh, but the lobby before this, I played with some Chinese people and some Ecuadorians. Um. Because I just assume they're Ecuadorian because why else would they have the flag, you know? Um, it's not like everyone's screaming, Hey, I want to put the Ecuadorian flag on my call title if they're not Ecuadorian, you know? It's just been one of those uh, international adventure days where I play with every continent on the globe. Aside from Australia. Wait, Australia is a continent, right? Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm American. I forget sometimes. The only uh, good side effect of being enraged is that I flip out and I start going buck wild with my joysticks looking everywhere. So I see this guy get sniped out and I'm like, yes, I'm going to get me a sniper. I don't mind him anymore. But uh, I noticed that there is one bad sniper in this lobby. So I'm like, hopefully he's the bad sniper. That's like a gift. Because when they're bad, they just shoot at you and miss and you kill them every time. Yeah, since I'm enraged, I have a little bloodlust, and I just try to tear through my opponents and kill them as fast as possible. So right here, I was very amazed by this guy's cat-like balance. So on the mic, I was like, hey dude, when I drop you, do you land on your feet? Lucky this sniper didn't see me, and I'm hoping he's the bad sniper. As I fail, jump, crouch through this window, that's where you jump and crouch at the same time to go through windows. Also, while I'm looking around buckwild with my joysticks, I'm also running around buckwild. Uh, I can't think of another word, but yeah, okay, buck while running, and I think it confuses the game. And kind of like where Black Ops was all the time, it makes Modern Warfare say, hey, where is the character? Where is this guy? Okay, so my one and only death is due to a quickscope, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't the quickscope that killed me, it was the fall, so it was an assisted suicide. Actually, if you play it in slow motion, it was an asscope. And right there with that Predator missile, I, I forgot, aren't we playing Battlefield 3? Uh, aren't there destructible environments? Oh, there aren't. Okay, I'm an idiot. Forgiveness, please pull my accuracy on this Japanese guy. That can't possibly be offensive to anyone. Seriously. So I love it when the game has a noise gathering every two seconds when you're leveling up something. It makes it very difficult to sound or, or to focus when you're constantly being inundated with some Modern Warfare celebration noise. The good news is I went into my hummingbird slash ADD mode. The bad news is when I go into hummingbird mode and I look in three corners and get killed in the fourth corner, then I am super pissed. So I come upon these jackalax battling it out, and when you battle it out with bullets and it takes longer than 30 seconds at close quarters, then something's wrong. Yeah, I just shot at a dead body wood take a little predator breath here but this time I remember there aren't destructible environments and I kill monostat seven day here which is gonna make a lot of females unhappy and the world will be a smellier place that is disgusting sorry don't worry I'll edit that out so right now you should be saying what did you edit out did you see that you know how ineffective claymores are they're so ineffective you have to point them in the wrong direction in hopes that someone runs past it and then they get killed i'm fairly certain i haven't ever been killed by one i do run stalker a lot but even when i didn't i've never been killed by one you want to see a pro move here see that may look like a failed stun grenade toss but i actually hit the guy behind me i was trying to do that oh by the way i do however get killed by those stupid ims's all the time because running stalker i hear that little nee -nee -nee -nee. And then I forget about it, and I'm like, okay, I'm cool. And then, like, 10 seconds later, it shoots one of those stupid things up, and it gets me from, like, 100 yards away. Maybe not 100. But I'm gonna say 100 yards, uh, just like I said that I meant to do that stun grenade toss. That's what I like to call the Neo, the one move. I can dodge bullets. Or, like I said earlier, I just confuse the game by running around like a jack, jack and ninny. Is that cool? Can I say that? Uh, will I lose one of my 49 fake subscribers? I don't know. So since I have a bachelor's degree, I can totally tell that that is a booby-trapped airdrop. And yes, I do have a bachelor's degree. That's why my nickname is College Boy. On the streets, they're like, you gonna read that, College Boy? And I'm like, hells yeah, I can read. Actually, because they can't read, I just pretend like I'm reading. It was all cool until I tried to patch up my friend One-Eyed Willie by reading a medical manual, and he bled to death. Yeah, now they call him Dead Willy. But they stopped calling me College Boy because now they know I can't read, so now they call me The Executioner. Okay, that was incredibly lame, and why did that guy spawn in the room with me? What? Good thing he was away from controller. I mean, my competition this match was phenomenal. They were all multi-prestigious, uh, top 100 in the world. And isn't that a bitch when you switch to your other weapon and you have to reload that one too? 
But that guy doesn't have to know that. He doesn't have to know if he bomb rushed me, he would have killed me. Sorry, Japanese guy. I've noticed that you switch classes several times, and now you're a sniper. Um, I know it's probably laggy for you because you're playing out of your country, but it's okay because every time I play with my friend who lives in Korea, I have to play in Japan, and it really sucks balls. Also, you think I forgot about Pearl Harbor? I have not. I just watched that movie. And I just found out that, according to Wikipedia, it's based on true events. Silence now. Whoa, I won. Huh. I did not see that coming, like when I watched Titanic. Okay, well I saw the ship sinking part coming, but I didn't see DiCaprio dying or the boobs slapping me in the face. Best PG-13 movie ever. Well, actually The Dark Knight is right now, but next to that. Please don't leave, I'm so very lonely. Yeah, whatever, get out of here, I'm done with you. Goodbye.